Hello there, Cancer. Hope you're enjoying your day. Or your evening, whenever you're watching this. Let's see what's going on. This is uh, going to be your, your reading for the rest of this month and through the first week of August. So, <clears throat> let's see what's going on. Alright. Hmm. Right throw. So, it looks like many of you are going on a trip. Looks like many of you could be going on a trip. Let me get that, get that card out here. There we go. So, this particular rune, it, it means, it, it means transportation. It means like uh, a trip. You could be planning a trip right now. You, uh, you know, you're going to be taking a trip. A lot of you are for sure. It, 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 this particular rune also, it doesn't say to really worry too much about, you know, um, getting to where you're going. is to more kind of like enjoy the ride for what it is. And, uh, you know, get in some scenery or whatever and, and, uh, and just enjoy. Let's, let's see what's going on here other than that. Let's see what's going on. Cancer. Ah. Okay. Yes, yes, indeed. Isa. Uh, that means ice. Okay, so let's find the card for that. There it is. Okay. Wow. So, this is a pretty easy read for me uh, so it looks like um, many of you are going to be uh, taking a taking a trip this particular rune here means ice so uh, you know basically you know what does ice do it like stays it's stuck um, it's kind of like you know stagnant um, so this indicates to me some delays so maybe if you're traveling or something there's going to be some sort of a delay some sort of standstill stagnation um and when that happens i guess maybe what this is saying here is to just you know don't worry about getting to where you're going you'll get there eventually um it's just it looks like maybe you're gonna you know be looking into some delays um for those of you that are not you know planning any trips or anything like that you know this this could be like uh, maybe a thought to expand or something um, but then again it's still at a standstill it's a little stagnant so but um, it doesn't indicate anything really uh, you know there's really nothing uh, bad here for me to report it just looks it all looks good it looks like you're going to have a good time just you know just take the good with the bad the good here with the bad you know sometimes it's a drag to be stuck in traffic or if something like that happens you know you might be on a road trip and um, you know maybe you get stuck in traffic maybe the road gets closed or um, you know things like that sometimes happen but anyway, I think you'll still have a good chance to have a good time there. All right, Cancer. So anyway, um, that is your quick uh, rune reading uh, for uh, this next uh, couple of weeks. And um, also, I started, uh, what I started doing is I started doing uh, oracle uh, card readings. I was only pulling like one oracle card and then I just decided to just do a full readings. And I wanted to do readings on everybody uh, for money. And so basically what this reading is going to do is just kind of like uh, give you a little insight on, you know, maybe some things that you can do uh, within this next couple of weeks to, you know, to gain some extra, some extra money, to bring more money to you. So anyway, um, I'll be using uh, this particular um, uh, deck. It's pretty cool. 
So anyway, let's get right into this here. I don't want to waste any, any of your time here. We just want to get to it and start the reading. Alright. These are awfully big cards. There we go. Okay, there's money. 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 Money reading for cancer. See that, you guys? Let me move this out of the way. I want to show you that card. It's kind of hard to see. Cosmic womb. Divine, divine feminine. Hmm. I wonder what that's. Yeah. We'll have to see what that's about. That's a that's a cool looking card. So let's check this out. Fool's embrace. Hmm. Let's see what's going on a little bit more here. This is gonna be a real reading here because I haven't uh, I haven't ever seen these cards yet. They're just absolutely awesome. Look at this. Empty well. Time to replenish. That means you need to get more money. <laughs> Let's see what's going I can tell what that one means. <laughs> So let's let's see what's going on here with this. That looks really interesting. Okay, so let's get right into this. The first card you had there was a cosmic womb, and that's a the feminine divine card, which is usually means something really, really good. Ah, so this is really good here. This is this is saying here, if uh, if you've had a difficult time in recent memory, you know, feeling dry and stagnant uh, and unsupported, things are changing right now. So that's really that's a good that's a good sign. That's a good that's a good one. <laughs> Let's look at the second card here. The Fool's Embrace. Wow. Interesting. That's 22. Number 22. There we go. Okay. Alright. So... So, uh, yeah, this is really a pretty powerful card here. This is saying right here, basically, um, it's saying that no matter where on the spectrum of pain that you find yourself in, as far as your finances go, um, whether it be disappointment or, you know, searching for something that was lost, it's time to make peace with it. And... Uh, and befriend it rather than resisting it or running from it or judging it as bad or unfair or hostile. So, yeah, that's kind of basically what it's saying here about, you know, maybe, you know, you've had some, <laughs> some bad experiences with money, but, you know, you just, just let go of the past there. And basically it says right here that things are changing. So I mean, that's awesome. So yeah, let go of the, let go of those negative emotions about money, and and just know that for sure things are changing. So let's go on to this card here. This is pretty cool. And like I said, it says empty well, time to replenish. 
I mean, that basically says it all, really. It looks like, you know, you, you, you want to make some more money. I want to look exactly at what, what uh, uh, that, that really gets into. Uh -huh. And it says here also to stop diminishing yourself for the sake of others. So, yeah, put yourself out there first, you know. Time to time to replenish. Time to time to help yourself. All right. So now we'll see what this says here. The crossing. Right, let's check that out. And let's see what that says. I just love these cards. They're they're very very interesting. Very mystic. It just kind of blows my mind. Yep, exactly. So this is really good. Um, this is really saying that uh, you can you can rip away. It, what it's saying is you. It's saying the same thing as this is saying. Um, you know, it's saying to let go of the what doesn't serve you anymore and let go of it and just you know forget about it. Um, and to move on. And you're it, this really looks positive. So. It looks like, you know, as long as you just let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to, you're going to, you know, come out a little bit ahead there. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you kind of understood that. <laughs> this is very positive. So just remember that this is like, uh, you know, something something is happening right now. So time to let go and, and get ready to receive. <clears throat> All right there, Cancer. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, and please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. All right, bye for now there.